Hey everybody, Dr. Barron here with virtualheadachespecialist.com. There are five main neuromodulation devices on the market for migraine and other headache disorders. I'm gonna talk about each device individually. Today is video number two in this neuromodulation series. Today we're gonna to talk about the Gamma Core Sapphire Vagus Nerve Stimulator device. You can scroll back and look at my last video on the Savvy Dual device, which is a TMS device. Uh, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos on the remainder of the devices out there. I'm not being paid to do this. There's no really no incentive for me to do this. I'm just doing this to provide you guys with information and education on all the treatments out there, which um, you know may be things other than uh, medications and pills and, and these kind of things. So it's nice to have non-pill options like these neuromodulation devices as well. All right, guys, so let's first look at the box and see what's inside. Some safety information, instructions. Here's the Gamma Core device. The device itself. Gel to use the device. We'll show it how to do that in a moment. Here's the charge card. You charge it up with um, three months of treatments. This is the device charging cord. And lastly, there's a bunch of extra gel in there for the device use. I talked a little bit about this before, but I love the concept of neuromodulation devices because one, migraine is an electrical event in the brain. For a review of exactly what happens during a migraine and during the aura of migraine, look at my two pinned videos at the top and that'll go through all of that again, just as a uh, refresher. But think of your brain as if it's immersed in an electrical storm during a migraine. Uh, so I think of neuromodulation devices as almost like a reset button, as if you are rebooting a malfunctioning device. Uh, so that's how I see these devices working. Uh, it doesn't involve taking another pill or medicine, which is always a bonus. Uh, and so today, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about the Gamcore Sapphire Vagus Nerve Stimulator device. It's made by a company uh, called Electrocore. This is a non-invasive device, meaning it does not require a surgical implant like vagus nerve stimulators previously and historically were used where they actually put a wire under the skin over the vagus nerve. I'm gonna link to my neuromodulation overview blog on all of the devices in the comments. You can read more detail about all of them, including the Gamma Core uh, there. But essentially the way Gamma Core works is that it activates the vagus nerve with a very gentle electrical stimulation through the skin, uh, specifically down here. Uh, well, I'll show you a little bit how that works later. But the vagus nerve is an important highway of communication between your brain and many parts of the body. It's sometimes referred to as the super highway of the nervous system. Uh, the vagus nerve plays an important role in regulating pain, uh, including uh, headache disorders. So stimulating the vagus nerve can help to block some of these pain signals that, that lead to various types of headache attacks. When the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems are not balanced, these are kind of the, the, um, the two halves of the nervous system that work uh, opposite of each, of each other. But when these are not balanced, you get a variety of autonomic symptoms that can occur. We call dysautonomia. Uh, this can involve GI, uh, motility issues, um, heart rate, blood pressure issues. So stimulating the vagus nerve activates the parasympathetic part of that nervous system, or also known as the rest and digest nervous system. So it helps to bring these systems into balance. This can alleviate a number of autonomic symptoms for some patients, as well as headache disorders. And we'll talk about those coming up here. Okay, so let's talk about treatment. So Gamma Core is used both abortively and preventatively. As of now, it is FDA cleared for the abortive and preventive treatment of migraine for ages 12 and older. So it's great to have an option for those adolescents with migraine. It's FDA cleared for the abortive and preventive treatment of cluster headache. Uh, and notably, it's the only neuromodulation devices on the market right now that is FDA cleared for cluster headache. It is FDA cleared for abortive and preventive treatment of hemicrania continua and paroxysmal hemicrania. And also of note is that it is the only neuromodulation device that is FDA cleared for these headache disorders. Okay, so let's talk about dosing. First of all, treatment of gamma core is done on the same side of the predominant side of your headache. So if it's mostly right-sided, you wanna do it on the right side here. 
Uh, so the way you do it, you find your carotid pulse and you find that just below the angle of the jaw. If you put it in there, there's a little divot and if you feel for it, there's a little pulse in there. So you want to apply a little pea-sized, this is the device here, the Gamma Core. You wanna apply a little pea-sized gel that comes with the device to each electrode. You're gonna turn the device on. So I just turned it on there. Uh, it's turning on. It'll tell you how many treatments you have left and, uh, and some other information that you can see on their website. Um, and so again, you feel that carotid pulse on the side here, there's a volume button up and down. You turn the volume up to the, the strength that you're comfortable. And the best way to do this really is to put it on the neck right in that spot there and continue to turn up the volume. And you'll feel a little vibration there. So you do that, you keep turning it until it reaches a volume that um, either you have a strong tingling sensation or you might see the corner of your lip pulling down. You can see my lip pulling down on that side. Um, and so that is a treatment. Uh, and so the way that you treat it, so abortively, um, treatment for migraine, cluster, hemicrania, continua, paroxysmal hemicrania, it's two two-minute stimulations. That's one treatment. For preventment, pre preventive treatment of all of these headache disorders, it is two two-minute stimulations twice a day. Um, the device is purchased and it's dispensed with a three-month course of treatment. Uh, the device capability allows for 32-minute treatments each day if needed. So that allows for plenty for prevention, plenty for abortive. There's not really like a set limit that you can't, you can't use it so many times, but it will stop after 30 treatments where you can't do any more until the next day, the next 24-hour um, period. Um, and so this is good for three months, you know, 30 treatments a day potentially um, for those three months. And then if you want to continue using it, you get refills for three-month refill cards. You hold it up to the device and it recharges for another uh, three months of treatment. That's, that's the process. Side effects, so less than 5% of people get side effects. It's a pretty well-tolerated device. Uh, they're generally very mild side effects. Most commonly, are there gonna be some, some application site um, discomfort in there, some tingling, some muscle twitching. Uh, some dizziness has been reported, not real common, but uh, something to be aware of. Access for the device. Um, so basically, you fill out a form uh, from their website, or uh, if, the, if their rep is uh, nearby, they should have forms in your doctor's office. So your doctor fills that out, faxes it to Electricore. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link in my blog for the form as well as uh, the Electricore website. Uh, and then the company uh, contacts you and, and coordination uh, goes from there. Um, so like I mentioned, it's dispensed in three month treatment courses. Uh, pricing is variable, uh, there's, there's changes. So the best way to get current pricing is just to call the company and ask. Um, they can also tell you if there's any certain coverages that, that uh, are allowed. I know a lot of these devices are not covered by insurances, but um, some insurance are starting, starting to lighten up to some of these devices and, and actually cover them. Um, so these are things that are always in changing um, flux. So you may wanna just talk to the company and ask uh, what the updates are, if there are any, but they can give you the, the most accurate up-to-date pricing and if they have any kind of uh, promotions or those kind of things. All right, guys, uh, drop messages, questions in the comments if you have any, and I will get back to them. All right, take care. Bye.